Okay, here we are. We're going to be working on making our Q-tip skeletons. So I'm going to shape switch my camera. Now on the page, you have the option of printing out things like the skull, the head, and then you would add two choices of bow ties. This is a whole page of different ones. It was one with stripes and one with spots. So I went ahead and cut mine out. And if you can't print those, you can look at them and draw your own and then cut them out. So you don't necessarily have to have those. So you'll need to try to have, if you can, a black, a black or dark piece of paper. Or if you got like cardboard, it would work. And um, you would start with cutting out your skull, your head that you made for your skeleton. And you would need to have your Q-tips. I'll have, you have a list of how many you would need and how many would need to be cut, be left whole, how many would need to be cut in half, and then how many would need to be cut right at near the cotton part of the Q-tip. And so you'll have those. I've got those laid out to the side on different places. And the first thing to do once you've got all your materials is with a glue stick. You'll need a glue stick and liquid glue. But with this paper, you need to put the glue stick and put this as close as you can to the top of the paper. So you'll have room for your whole skeleton below it. Now if you plan on doing a boy one, you know, I've got my bow, you would want to put there's a bow tie right here. If you're going to do it as a girl, you could do it as a bow on her head. So whatever you decide to do with your bow, go ahead and put some glue on that and put it where you want to put it on your skeleton. I have mine be a girl. Okay? So remember if it's a boy make it a bow tie. The next thing you're going to do is you would take one complete whole q-tip and it's going to be the collarbone. Like, those, like this is your shoulders. There's its shoulders. Okay? Now glue sticks don't work with the q-tip so we're going to go to the liquid glue. And what you do, you don't want to put glue all the way across. You're just wanting to put it on the ends where the cotton is. Because it's thicker. And that's really the only part of it that's touching the paper. And you don't need much. Just a little dot on each end. So you put its collarbone and got its shoulders on. Next thing is right in the middle, we're going to put its backbone down. So you'll get another whole Q-tip, put the glue on either end and put it right in the middle, going straight down. Okay, next we're going to put in the ribs and this is where you've cut them in half. So you got, whoops, one whole Q-tip that goes like this and you've got it cut in half. One day. And then you put another one down right there. And then a third one right here. So I lay them down first. Then I'm going to put the glue down. So after I've got them laid down, then I pick them up and put them where they belong. got the ribs done. Okay, next we're going to go back up to the shoulders part and you should have some more q-tips cut in half. So you're going to take one where you've cut it in half and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and you're going to put 
the part where it's small attached to there. And then the other part. And however you want to put it, because this is going to be like the elbow. And then we're going to put fingers at the end of this. So you want to make it be out to where you've got room for your fingers to be on it. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And this time I'm going to have it waving. So I'm going to put it up right here so it can wave. You can move it and have it different ways. You don't have to put it the way I do. You can have both of them up. Both of them waving like that. Okay. Next thing is you're going to take a whole Q-tip and go across right there. And it's going to be the hip bones. Put glue only on the cotton part. And then... You've got another one that has been cut in half for this side, and another one that's been cut in half for this side to be your legs. And it's going to be the same way that you did with your arms. And how you want the legs to be, you need to kind of lay it out if you want to before you do it. I'll have mine looking like he might be running a little bit. Or she. Since I put a bow in her hair, I need to call her a she, don't I? Alright. And then you should have two where it's cut very near the cotton tip of it. And those are going to be your feet. I need to move mine a little bit closer. And you want to have the Q-tip in to be like the end of the foot. Alright. So there's mine. And now all I need to do is get my five fingers on each one and this is where you've cut them into little shorter ones right at the cotton swab. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. I want to lay it down before I glue. And when I get them how I want them, then I will glue them down. And then I have my Q-tip skeleton. So I'm going to go back to the screen showing this in Seesaw. And on this page, you will take a picture and put it on here so you can see your Q-tip skeleton. And if you want to, name your skeleton. Do a little... You can actually write it onto there, or you can type it in a text box here. Let us know what you named your skeleton. I hope you have fun with them bones. Have a good day.